Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. Thank you so much for clicking on today's get ready with me. I hope you guys are doing well. I wanted to sit down and just, you know, do my makeup with you guys, just talk to you and do everything using drugstore makeup. And I'm also going to be reviewing the BFF collection from Alondra and Elsie. I feel like I said that weird. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead, stop talking and let's just go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and begin and get ready together. Um, this is my first time filming like an actual video. So let me know if you guys like the lighting, the setup. This room, you guys, is so much bigger. So I'm super excited to be filming more videos. I've just been unpacking and doing schoolwork. And I honestly have just been super lazy. I haven't been in the mood to do anything. I'm like in a big weird mood. So for today's palette, I'm finally going to be using the BH Cosmetics BFF Alondra and Elsie palette. You guys, I'm so happy for them. I love supporting my Latinas, my beautiful Latinas. And I've been supporting them, you guys, since like 2017, since I was in high school. School. I remember buying from OOTD Fast. I really like their clothing. Make sure you guys check them out. They have really, really nice quality clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and begin by taking this brush from Alamar Cosmetics. It's called the Pigment Packer Brush. Um, hopefully you guys like the new lighting and the new setup. Let me know if you guys, you know, like it. Um, I can definitely move it around. I will be doing a room tour, by the way. So I'm just decorating everything and waiting for things to arrive and i'm also super indecisive so it's probably gonna take me a while i'm gonna be taking the shade bff i feel like this is such a cute palette too to buy like for your best friend so you guys can be twinning looking cute together so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this here on the crease i'm pretty much like packing it in that's a good trick if you want your shadows to look super like bright you want to make sure you take your time and you pack everything in I'm gonna be taking my e.l.f. tapered blending brush, which is one of my favorite ones. And I'm gonna be going in with the shade 24, 24. And I'm just gonna be adding this here right above the pink. And I'm gonna be using that yellow shade to blend out the pink shade. So I'm just gonna be going back and forth right here. You guys, I've been getting comments here and there about doing like ASMR videos and I just could never do them. I have a very loud voice. I don't even use a microphone. That's how like loud my voice is. I get questions if I use a microphone. I don't use anything. I just put my camera and then the lights and I just turn on the camera. Uh, imagine with the microphone, it would just be too loud. But I have a very loud voice and I just could never do those type of videos because I cannot whisper. It's just super funny to me. Like every time I try to whisper, I start laughing because I just cannot do it. Like I feel like my voice just gets like weird. I don't know. Okay, so I still look camera in a lot closer to me so you guys can see the detail on the eyeshadow and it's not too, you know, far for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brush. This is from BH Cosmetics. It's a number six brush. And I'm gonna go in with the shade OOTD, which is a beautiful brown shade i'm just gonna make sure pack this in and i'm just gonna start focusing this here on the outer parts of my eyes oops i just touched the yellow by accident this palette is super pigmented it's been my go-to every time i do my makeup i always gravitate towards this palette you guys um i really haven't been doing my makeup though so now that my eyes look like this i feel like it looks really pretty like sunset vibes so i'm gonna be going in with this brush this is actually from shop miss a and i'm gonna go in with a little bit more concealer and i'm just gonna go ahead and cut the crease like i always do this is just gonna make everything look a lot more cleaner i'm gonna take my aoa studio e131 brush and this is just clean i like to go right here back and forth and then i have like a little like tissue not tissue a towel and i just go back and forth to remove a little bit of the concealer so like that you can get a more even like application and then I'm gonna go in with my favorite shade out of this whole palette, which is called Malibu. I'm just gonna grab this shade. And I'm just gonna pack it here on the inner corner. Now I'm just gonna go in with OOTD once again. I'm just gonna blend it right here with the blue. I'm just going back and forth. You see this side, it's not that good. This one is looking a lot better. So the tip is just to go like this. So 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara. I'm just gonna be taking my Essence Mascara. This is called the Hello Good Stuff Volume Mascara. I also have to go and get my nails done. Well, I do them myself, but I wanna film like a pamper routine and show you guys how I do myself tanning, hair care at home. I do everything at home and it's all affordable in drugstore. So I wanna do an updated one because I did do one last year, I believe. Yeah, it was last year. So I'm gonna do another one. So stay tuned for that video. Let me know if you guys have any other ideas, requests. Please let me know in the comments below because I wanna start filming lots of more videos. I feel like, you know, I'm finally ready to start filming. I have the motivation to do it. So they have inside in the comments below. And for lashes, I'm just going to be going in with the Kiss Lashes, my new favorite ones. They're called the Matte Sheer Lashes. These are really nice and they're only $8. So I'm just going to go in with the ones I've already been using. And I'm just going to take my Kiss Eyelash Glue. I finally found it, you guys. The roaches didn't take it. It was just underneath my makeup bag. But I swear I looked for it. I was like, where did it go? Let me just go ahead and moisturize first with my Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. This is really good and it's affordable. I think it's like $14. And it feels really good on the skin. I feel like my skin's been doing really good. I am breaking out right here. I feel like I'm always breaking out in this part. But other than that, it's doing good. And then for primer, I'm just gonna be taking my e.l.f. Cooling Face Primer. I'm just gonna do double primer today because I just miss playing with makeup. I feel like when you take a break from makeup and then you start like doing it again, you just feel really like inspired and re-motivated. For foundation today, I'm gonna be going in with my Morphe Filter Medium Number 16 Foundation. This shade in 16, it's like the perfect match for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. This is definitely like a thicker foundation. I don't think it's so like skin-like, but it does make your face look really pretty and like airbrush. So if you're into, you know, the full coverage, I feel like you are gonna like this. And it is long wearing, at least for me just makes your face look like super pretty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out with my Shop Miss A Beauty Sponge, which again, is only like $1.88. And it's just my favorite one at the moment because it's so squishy and they do donate to, I think it's like an animal shelter, which is really nice. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some concealer. Let's see, where is it at? Let me know you guys how you all have been doing. Let me know what you guys have been up to. I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal Infallible I mean Foundation. Infallible Concealer in the shade Cashew. And I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the Juvia's Place in the shade 18. This is like one of my favorite drugstore concealers. This one and the e.l.f. one. It's like the best two concealers ever. So I'm just going to add this right here. And then also my nose and right here on the center. And then I'm also going to add the Juvia's Place. I cannot use this concealer by itself because I feel like it creases. And that never happens to me, only with this concealer. So mixing it in with another one just creates a really nice airbrush effect. So you guys see how pretty this foundation and concealer, like, they just look really pretty in the airbrush. Everything just looks really nice and full coverage. I really like mixing these two concealers in. This by itself is not good. This by itself is good. But together, it's just like really pretty, like higher end quality. So I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I think I'm going to be using my Maybelline Lasting Fix Powder in the shade Banana. This is like one of my favorite prou uh, powders. If you guys have oily skin, I highly recommend it. It's super like fine and it just makes your makeup look bomb. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit. And pack it in into my skin. You see how it like instantly mattifies your skin? It makes everything look really nice. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be going in with my LA Girl Pro Face Powder. It's in the shade Nude Beige. And I am going to mix it with the Infallible Powder in the shade 140, which is Golden Beige. Um, if I use this by itself, it kind of looks gray on me. I wish the L'Oreal Powder, though, had more colors. I feel like they're definitely lacking that. It's a great powder, but it just needs a lot more shade but i'm gonna go ahead and apply the bff london lc snatch face palette which i need right now because i've been eating a lot of candy you guys i'm gonna be taking skinny legend because i need it especially right here 
and I'm just gonna be focusing that here. This is more of a, you know when you get like sunburn, that color, this is like exactly the color for that. It has like a neutral red undertone. So I'm just gonna, does that even make sense, a neutral red undertone? But I'm gonna be applying this for you right here on the double chin area right here. And then I'm gonna be going in with the shade Latina. And I'm just gonna be focusing that on the forehead and on the cheekbones. This is such a beautiful, like warm toned shade. And they're definitely really pigmented, so be really careful. Yeah, I feel like this is perfect if you have my skin tone and even like tanner skin tone. If you have deeper skin tone, I don't feel like this is gonna work for you that well. And if you have really like fair skin tone, be super careful because it can look really like muddy because it is so pigmented. And I like how this one's all matte. I do wish instead of a highlighter, it was like another blush. Oh, I forget how pigmented this is, you guys. Um, kind of gives you like a sheen. So I don't think it's completely matte. Yeah, it kind of gives you like a really pretty like glow, like healthy glow. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that powder. I'm just gonna focus that right here. It always comes out uneven when I do it. When I see other people do it, it's like all perfect. I think I have like a really uneven face. I think that's why. I'm gonna take the Essence Brighten Up Powder and I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Blush Brush. This is another good brush to add to your collection. It's like tapered, it's perfect, and it's only like three to four dollars. You guys know e.l.f. has really good prices. Let me know, speaking about e.l.f., what do you guys think of the new Chipotle collection? I honestly tried Chipotle only last year because of the pandemic and it was like my first time trying it out and I like it. I like the avocado, the guacamole, that's like my favorite and the chips, it's my favorite thing. Um, but let me know you guys what you think of that collection. I personally was a little bit surprised. I'm not really into food collections. I'm more into like the sweets collection, like ice cream, donuts, all that stuff. Let me know what you guys think, if you guys are gonna be picking it up. I was actually super lucky enough to get it sent to me, which is like super surprising. I like feel super excited. I get super excited when I get like PR packages, you guys. I feel like a little kid. I'm not even gonna lie, but yeah, I got it in the mail. I haven't used it or anything. But let me know if you guys are gonna be picking it up. I like these sponges. I think it's like a cute idea. This powder makes everything look really nice. It's a really good dupe for the KKW one, which does like the same thing. Go ahead and finish the eyes quickly. I'm just gonna take the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. This is in the shade Prance. It's a beautiful shade. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my lower lash list. Low I can't talk, you guys. And it's just gonna go perfect with the lid color. I'm gonna go ahead and start with taking Scorpio and I'm using a Sonia Kashuk Detailed Blending Brush. And then once I do that, I'm just gonna take Wine and Dine and just kind of add it in top of it because I really want this area to look really like smoky and just like summer nights in a way. Before I forget, I am gonna go ahead and contour my nose. I always take my Japanese brush because it's like flat. I got this from Marshalls. It's called the All Over Eyeshadow Brush, I think. Um, online it's like $7, but if you go to Marshalls, it's like $3.99. So I'm just gonna be adding my nose contour towards the eyebrows and the crease. You guys, I really like this makeup look. Highly recommend you guys recreate it. It's so pretty. If you guys recreate it, please tag me. Please recreate it because everybody's gonna look so beautiful with this. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of powder here around the nose. And then I'm just gonna kind of like buff it away, but I'm not gonna buff it. I'm gonna go ahead and like pack it into the skin. Okay, so we're almost done, you guys. All I have to do is line my lips. I'm gonna be taking my Milani eye pencil, I mean eye pencil, lip liner in the shade Saucy Toffee. And I'm just gonna go ahead and overline my lips. For liquid lipstick, I'm gonna be going in with the shade Camel. This is from the Alondra Lip Kit. So there's an Elsie Lip Kit and then Alondra. My favorite one is the Alondra one only because it's a lot lighter, but I like to use them both, especially for fall. I know I'm gonna be using the Elsie one a lot. If you guys can find them, I highly recommend you guys pick them up. Because I think they're like sold out everywhere and they're so pretty and i like the applicator i like everything about them you guys know i love nudes so i'm just gonna apply this here 
And I am going to be going in with a little bit of the CoverGirl Outlast liquid lipstick in the shade Cafe Latte. And I'm going to apply that here on the center. Just to lighten it up. I am going to go ahead and darken up my beauty mark, but also I'm going to go ahead and apply the shade Virgo and also Baby E. I'm going to apply those right here on the inner corner. This is the final look right here. I went ahead and put it on a cute shirt. Um, also, by the way, I did add a little bit of setting spray. I used the Milani Peach Setting Spray. And I did add just a little bit of the L'Oreal Sweet Tooth Liquid Lipstick just on the center just to add it like to be more light. Um, you can definitely add lip gloss. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it matte. I feel like it's just a cute matte makeup look. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching today's video. Let me know any other videos you guys would like to see from me next it's springtime which you guys know it's like my favorite season yeah guys that being said i'm gonna go ahead and go thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope you guys are doing well staying safe having a beautiful blessed day or night and i'll see you guys on the next one bye, bye guys